All right, so our latest project has been turning this old corn silo into a new chicken coop. Just wanted to give you guys a quick look at it before we actually got it all cleaned out and finished it. So we do have some laying baskets that we've gotten started. We're just doing this today. So we only have four of them so far. I need ideas for how to make them look like they would blend in better. I don't know if I could like paint them like a brown or maybe I should like get some bark and like, I don't know, glue it to it. We're just going for the all natural theme. Um, so you can see we went to the back of the property and we had a bad storm a few weeks ago that knocked down a few trees. So we just grabbed a few of the big branches. Um, you can see like the main support ones are the, like that one's really big and thick, um, are really strong. So we grabbed those big ones and then all the other ones are like for perching. They're not as big, but they're still really strong. I mean, like I can't even move these big ones. Like I can pull them as hard as I want and they don't budge. Um, so basically how we did it is we would cut the wood to fit to the, like, I don't know how to explain it, like to fit to the shape. So we would like angle it to fit. And then we were using some really big screws and we used them like every spot that there's wood. Um, we have a few that we have to come by and take off like this one went right on through because it's so, they're so long. Um, but yeah. And then the baskets are really, really sturdy. You can see we got those in there really tight. And then, let's say you can see how long these are that we're using. I mean, those are some big screws. So yeah. And then for like the braces going up, we would go outside and screw in for all of these ones that are on the wall, just cause that gives it even more support. So if you have any ideas or any suggestions, go ahead and comment below and then I will do a video when it's totally complete. All right, so just an update. We did get the chicken coop pretty much finished. Take you guys in here and show you. We keep this bar across here and then this bucket in front just to keep it nice and secure. And then in here, as you can see, we brought the little guineas. That was kind of loud. And brought them in here. So we got some bedding put down. I need to go to the store and get probably two more packages because just in front of the door, we're missing a little bit. Otherwise, the rest of it's covered. Um, we're gonna do two more nesting boxes. We just haven't decided where we're putting them yet. And then over here, we have their little food, we hung their water from a branch, and then for now it's not very pretty, but we put this just stick up and attach the two lights to it. So there's the heat lamp, and then this one just to kind of light it up in here. And then we got another little water just for like the tiny ones to make it a little easier on them. So use these guys. You can see there's three that are way bigger than the other three, so they need to catch up. I don't know if that means that the bigger ones are males and the smaller ones are females. I'm not really sure how it works. Um, but yeah, they're all really pretty and turning out really pretty, so definitely excited about that. Um, and the next day or two, we're gonna be getting a bunch of baby chicks. We're gonna get 25 baby chickens, so. Well, probably 25 hens and two roosters, maybe only one rooster, we haven't decided. So anyways, I will probably give you guys a quick update when we get them. And yes, thanks for watching. All right, so I'm super excited about this new door we just built. I know I shouldn't be excited about a door, but it's honestly, the old door was just like an old piece of plywood that was so bent that you could barely <laughs> shut it. So this one's great. So what we did is we have this little clear piece that we can still see in the coop. And then we can lock it at night. 
Otherwise, we leave it open to get some airflow in there um, so it doesn't get too hot. The birds are going to be free range, but for right now, since they're small, um, they aren't. They're only, the chickens are between four to six weeks old and the guineas are only two weeks old. Looks like one of the chickens got in there with the guineas. Um, so we just got the guineas um, like two weeks ago and then we just got the chickens um, today. So we went ahead and put this up just so that we weren't sure if they'd get along right away at first and the guineas are quite a bit smaller than the chickens still. Um, so that was just kind of what we decided to do. So they're just getting used to the place. Uh, we are pretty much done in here for as of putting up all this wood. This is an old ladder that we found in the garage. We were like, hey, that might be fun for them to perch on. We'll see. So yeah, so then the chickens have their own water and their own feed thing out here. They're munching on some old veggies. Um, and then the guineas still have the heat bulb and then they have their food and water also. And then you can you can see this chicken decided to get in there with them. So yeah, we just got these birds today. They all seem to be doing pretty good. I'm not really sure what they are. It's a bunch of different mixed ones. But you can see a lot of them are missing some feathers. They've been plucking. So hopefully those grow grow back in here soon. But yeah, I think we got a good amount of different breeds and there's some really pretty ones in here. Like that guy, he has the long hair and there's one more that looks like him, I'm not sure where he is, but yeah. I think we've got a few Americanas in here. Um, maybe some Well Summer, I don't know what else we have exactly, but I have a few guesses of breeds that we might have, so we'll just have to see. The guineas don't really seem to mind the chicken being in there. I'll have to get them out, but they seem to be getting along just fine. We had them together for about an hour, and there was one chicken that kept messing with the guineas, but besides that, we think they'll do fine together, especially when they're free range, because then they'll be outside most of the day. So yes, that's about it for now.